We heard a loud kaboom, and then she leaned back. That is the 911 call from a woman who'd been doing a Zoom call with 21-year-old Shamaya Lynn when police say Lynn's toddler found a gun and it went off, hitting Lynn and killing her. The baby's back there crying. She's not, she's not answering or anything. We're calling her name. She's not talking or responding. The story is heartbreaking, and Brent Moore, executive director of the Children's Safety Village in Orlando, says gun safety has been a major part of their work for decades. They try to drive home the message to kids that if they see a gun, get away from it and tell an adult. We ask the kids, where do you see guns at? And you see them in video games. You have them at, you know, the toy stores. I mean, a lot of times the kids think it's a toy. Altamont Springs police say the handgun belonged to the child's father and that it appears to have been left loaded and unsecured. Moore says locks are a simple tool to keep kids safe. Having a lock, locking it away, gun safes, you know, the little um, briefcase safes where you can put your gun in there, that is locked, combination lock or key lock so that somebody can't get in there. Altamont police say they are working with the state attorney's office to decide if the father will face charges. Moore says he hopes parents and kids learn from this terrible accident. It's a tragic incident that happened, and we hope nobody ever goes through that.